Okay, uh, so I wanted to talk a little bit about vertical farming and how it integrates into these multi-purpose uh, structures and what we can do to uh, make the most out of uh, our reducing our energy use to bring produce um, and product to uh, where we are for the point of consumption. And so uh, some of the things that are happening right now in um, the early 2020 uh, time frame is that vertical farming is starting to uh, play a role. And here's a, a vertical farm. Um, think of it as a store where um, the, uh, the customer would um, enter, enter into the base. And... Uh, what we have is a, uh, a, a shape that um, lends itself to a small footprint. So um, the footprint is uh, what they refer to as the uh, how much area it takes up at the base of the city where this, uh, where this uh, automation will be located. And, uh, the height of it is going to be um, probably in the 30 to 50 feet. Um, range or uh, 10 to um, oh, to 25 meters tall so it's it's fairly tall um, in feet uh, that's about five stories so um, what we can do is we can have a vertical axis robot that moves up and down so um, you can see there's a robot position here in the middle and then one up here, we've got um, we've got glass um, that will uh, go all the way around the structure. And then uh, on the multi-purpose part of it, we've got wind turbines up top. So we've got wind um, turbines, and then we have a flat roof up here. So um, we want to be able to collect water. So we're going to collect water and um, what's going to happen is that the the robot's going to go up and down in this um, format here maybe I should switch to a different color for my pen um, but we're going to be we're going to be moving up and down and then we can rotate around w once we get into a platform so this is just standard robotic uh, 101 the robot can reach in and out so um, what we're going to have is uh, produce on different levels. So, um, oops, if we go back to a black pen here, um, we could have uh, you know lettuce here. We could have carrots here. We can have celery. And so, the vision is that. Um, when, when people come into the store, uh, the robot will go up to a level where it'll find the produce. So they might have a menu that um, we could make a menu over here and we could say, I would like some uh, lettuce, I'd like some carrots, and I would like some uh, tomatoes. And so they check these and the robot goes up and brings down the pot to where the consumer is. And at that point, we have um, reduced uh, the benefits of all this is, um, here we'll just switch to this color. Um, we want to reduce energy in transport, transit. And then we want to uh, make it fresh so um, they call that um, from farm to fork and um, we want to um, make it available to um, uh, local um, local jobs so even though we've got some robotics that's working here, we're going to create jobs to maintain all this. Um, the system will collect water 
we'll be working in most likely a, um, a hydroponic oops hydroponic um, process so we won't have any soil um, when we go to grow all this um, we're going to use lighting uh, from the outside source so we'll use um, natural light and um, we can have some um, supporting light so we might um, add some lighting to the sides of this thing so let's use like an orange color here yellow yellow is pretty good and we can probably put some some lighting inside of these um, that are going to be help help with the growing and we can pull all that off of the uh, off the power that's being created by the uh, um, by the wind turbines so the wind turbines um, are going to be able to generate power and then we'll be able to turn on the lights at night to get a longer light um, light cycle so we want to um, we want to have a long um, light um, cycle. So these things are pretty important when we're thinking about a um, a multi uh, uh, a multi-purpose renewable energy. Um, system. 